Hello and welcome to Software Expert. In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can create a photography or a photo studio website using Elementor for free. We will be using Bloxy, which is a free theme. We will be using free Elementor and all free resources. You don't have to buy anything for this website. You will only need to have a domain name and hosting. And after that, you will be able to create this website easily with a few clicks. Now, I'll show you how you can set up this theme and then how you can customize this. Then for the detailed customization, you can watch my previous videos where I have explained everything about Elementor and Warface. So this is the website that we will be creating in this video. Here you can see in the top we have a simple logo. Obviously you can use your own logo. You can use your own colors and so on. Then we have the main menu with search bar, account and take action which is a call to action button. Then we have this main hero section. This is basically a dark theme. You can also change this to a white theme. Then if I scroll down, we have these photos here with some details. Then we have a gallery here. And if I click any of these, this will open that image and a slideshow. So here you can display some photos, some portfolio. Then we have this section where you can display some images and a little bit about you. Then we have this section with some text with these numbers and again a gallery and then newsletter and a photo so very clean and minimal design and we have all the required pages like gallery so this is a gallery page where you can display an image a background image gallery title and we have this gallery here and you can see the header is fixed on the top so you can navigate to all pages like about news contact and so on and this is the about page which is also very really good in design then we have news page so here you can share some blog post and finally we have contact page so contact us where you can display a form and your address phone number and so on so this is a very really lightweight and minimal theme you can get this website with a few clicks and then you can customize this so let's see how we can create this website and for creating any type of websites that is either a personal website a business website e-commerce websites you will need to have a domain name and hosting and basically domain name is your website name people will land on your page on your website after typing the url and hosting in simple words is an online storage where your website files will be stored where you can manage ssl certificate your domains your emails your databases, PHP versions and everything related to your website will be managed and the control panel and the hosting. You can also contact your hosting provider for any issue on your website or you can fix your issues right in the cPanel. And there are multiple platforms available that will provide you domain and hosting. The one I would suggest is Hostinger and if you follow this link in the description you will get a discount on hosting. You will also get a free domain with hosting. Let me show you. So if you go to this link in the description and scroll down you will see the plans here so this is for single website as you can see single wordface wordface starter and so on and these are the pricing you can see very normal and very affordable if you scroll down you will learn more about these plans so here you can host one website you will get this amount of storage this amount of bandwidth this one doesn't include a free domain and have weekly backups and so on and with all these three plans you will also get a free domain unlimited ssl which is this lock icon this make your website trustworthy and secure and you can get this amount of ram this amount of cores of cpu and so on please don't get confused here just select any of these plans based on your budget and based on your website visitor and storage and normally this plan will work for you as you can see this is most popular one so just add this to cart and this will take you to cart page where you can see the overview of the plan that we have selected and then you can scroll down and you can choose a favorite so if you want to get this for one month 12 months 24 and so on so the more time you choose here the more discount you will get now the normal price here is 432 but if you scroll down with the discount you will get this hosting with 143 usd and this is for four years so just create an account here or log in with facebook or google then pay for this hosting and you will get this hosting for 4 years with a free domain for 1 year. So once you pay for this, then this will take you to its dashboard. Let me show you. And this is how your dashboard will look. And you will see the hosting plan that you have selected with your domain name. 
and you can also create free domain emails using this plan so this is how you can get a domain name and hosting and now let me show you how you can install wordpress on your hosting so to install wordpress just go to your dashboard like this and then click on manage in front of your hosting so let's click on this and before installing wordpress let me visit the domain just to show you you can see there is nothing and we are set to go which means that our domain is ready we just need to install wordpress on this so let's go back and to install wordpress you can scroll down go to websites and you will see wordpress just click on that and if you don't see wordpress you can go to auto installer and you will find wordpress so let's click on wordpress and the first option is to detect wordpress so if you are not sure that this domain has wordpress or not you can detect your wordpress by clicking here so this is brand new domain and we don't have any wordpress installation here so i'll just click on install wordpress and here we can type our website title our email username and password and we'll select our domain that's it so let me quickly fill this and here make sure to choose https and don't write anything here we want our website directly on our domain and then we'll click next and then you can select the wordpress version so the most recent one is recommended you can choose your website language disk space and php version are fine and you can select update only minor version and then click install and that's it now this will install wordpress on this domain and i'll show you and now you can notice the dashboard is different and if you scroll down you will see more options and you will also see wordpress version installed here and now let's check our domain so if i refresh this we got a 2023 theme with hello world post you can find this theme and the post and the wordpress dashboard and to access the wordpress dashboard you can go back and here you can click on edit website and this will take you to wordpress dashboard and now i am in the wordpress dashboard and the first thing is we will need to install bloxy theme so for that let's go to appearance themes and we'll click add new and here we'll search for bloxy this is the theme so let's install this and then activate and now for running this theme properly you will need to install this plugin which is bloxy companion let's click on this to install this and once you install and activate that plugin and this will take you to its dashboard this is the theme dashboard where you can learn more about this theme you can customize the theme and you can go to its extensions that are available in this free theme which is cookie consent newsletter product reviews and so on then there are some useful plugins that you can use change log and so on and you can also get its pro version but you can go to starter sites and here you will find all the websites that you can import with one click and then you can customize so you can see you can have photo studio that we will be creating in this video restaurant website website for wood catering renovation barbershop and so on you can pick these demos based on your needs you can also install e-commerce websites like homey business websites and so on so as we are creating that photo studio website so we will go here you can see this is available for Gutenberg and Elementor. So Gutenberg is the normal WordPress editor and Elementor is the powerful editor using which you can create the website just by drag and drop and very flexible and very powerful. So you can go here and then you can just click on import. Then you can install a child theme. And by using child theme you can make changes to your code file. You can add your custom codes that will be remain even you update the theme. So you can check this box and then you can go to the next step and as i said you can choose gutenberg or elementor as your page builder so let's choose elementor and then we'll go next and then these are some plugins that are required this is wp form plugin that you can use for contact form elementor obviously and and modular this is basically the image gallery plugin let's go next and we will select all these options to import everything and then install and that's it now this will import that demo content to our domain and then we can customize that. So let's wait for this. And you can see site imported successfully. So let's view our website. As you can see we got the whole website on our domain. With all the pages, the section, the images, gallery and so on. And as I said, now you can customize this based on your need. For example, I want to make changes to this homepage. I can just 
click this edit with Elementor and I can edit this page with Elementor or you can go back to your dashboard and here you can go to pages where you will see all the pages so about contact gallery and so on let's make changes to the home page so I'll just edit this with Elementor I'll open this in a new tab now this will open up Elementor page builder where we can make changes to the website we will need to reactivate this kit so let's click on this and under tools you can just click on this and then save changes go back and refresh and this is Elementor page builder where we can customize this website let's say I want to change this header so I'll just click on this this will open up this title and I can change this title to something like this obviously you will have to write your own text this is just to show you and same goes for these buttons I can edit any of these I can change the text like no more and I can link this to anywhere or any page and if you want to change this image you can just edit this particular section you can go to its style tab and here you can change this image so you can click on this you can upload your own images or you can go to media library where you will find all the images of your website select any image and then click select let's leave this and uh, same goes for these these are basically containers so you can click on any of these again you can go to style and you can change the background image and this is gallery so if I edit this this is home gallery one this is by modular plugin so for customizing this you can go back to your dashboard here you can go to modular and galleries and this is home one gallery if I edit this I can change its name here and I can change the images here I can change the images by just drag and drop and I can delete images I can edit images I can upload more images here and I can also add more images from media library and then you can change the gallery settings here like you can use any of these layouts you can change the style and so on I am not going in much detail here in this video I am just giving you an idea about the photography website so here you can customize the gallery and now let's go back to Elementor and here we can customize any text any images and any list one more thing is if you want to make changes to the header and footer you will need to go to customize and by the way you will need to save your changes by clicking update this will save your changes now if I visit this website again I have changed this title you will notice this and that's it and as I said to make changes to the header the footer and the logo you will go to customize and under customize you can change many things in your main theme like you can go to general tab here you can change the layout the buttons the breadcrumbs form elements and so on there are lots of options in this particular theme let's say I want to display scroll to top I'll enable this now if I scroll down the page you will see this scroll to top button obviously you can customize this also this is just one example I can make this circular also so I can change to circle and that's it so there are some options that you can change in the customize now if I want to change this logo I'll go here and we'll click these three dots and this is the logo I can click on this and I can upload my own logo and just to show you quickly I'll upload a simple logo here like this one and we'll select this and this is the sticky logo which is appearing in the sticky header so I'll also change this to that same logo and now you can see the logo has been changed this is the logo height let's make this 50 for example and that's it I change the logo and same goes for this photo I can edit any of these sections so I can change the logo here I can change the text here and we can also change the social icons and so on and finally you will have to click on publish to save these changes and now let's visit the website again we got that logo and we got their text and so on so this is how you can create a photography website using Elementor and using WordPress absolutely for free using free resources 
and to learn more about Wallface and Elementor, you can visit my channel. I have lots of videos about Elementor and Wallface. And still, if you have any questions, you can ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next.